Hi everyone. Um, I've been doing a lot of lives today uh, because I am just in a weird headspace, so it felt like having fun. I'm trying a new angle here. It's really hard to get me in the tub without showing any bits. So I got my handy dandy sensor washcloth. Very dramatic. Um, and I put on some sparkles today because it just, honestly, I feel more like me when I have the wig and all that other stuff around uh, instead of just, you know, my Jupro, which no hate on the Jupro, but you know what I mean. Uh, if you're here, say hi. Where my quarantine people at? <laughs> quarantine. I feel like I'm gonna show you guys my junk and I'm gonna be kicked off of Facebook forever. So I'm just gonna ball myself up and stay low. If you see anything, just scream. Okay, I'm gonna use the duck as a coverage system. Uh, uh, there, you shouldn't be able to see anything at this point. Uh, but I think it's okay. If you see a tit, I'm gonna need somebody to call me because this is just too much. All right, so um, welcome to Tub Time with Trixie. This is episode hot mess. Um, I've been doing lives in the tub because this was an idea I had forever ago and I should be doing this with Jen Hayes with Stay Posh, who is amazing, you guys. Uh, she did the video for uh, the Bourbon Boy Last and a bunch of Flirt to videos. Check her out on YouTube. Um, Oh, I'm trying to read what you guys are saying. You're watching and you say, hey, hey, what? Somebody said the jazzle? Heck no. That stuff is on lockdown. Uh-uh. Next time I'm getting in the tub with a bathing suit. This, it's just hard. I'm trying to not, like, I'm trying to keep the, uh, I, I mean, most of you have seen my boobs. I think if you haven't, I'm not sure where you, you've probably been in quarantine because they're always out and everywhere. And in fact, you go out to the store, you think you're picking up a Diet Coke and BAM! It's my boobs. Like, I can't help it, I'm not trying to, it just is sort of a thing. Anyways, let's get to the uh, subject matter of today. I wanted to have a special guest on this show, yet I lack the ability to figure out how to call somebody while still doing the live from my phone. <laughs> but I'm gonna figure it out, and gosh darn it, when I do, we're gonna have guests! Like, not just the dog or the duck. Um, the duck is doing a pretty good job censoring, as is the magic uh, mystical washcloth. I feel bad even tempting it because I'm afraid I'm gonna, like, my luck is going to run out and I am going to show you my baby bits. Um, or I guess they're not baby bits, but they're baby making bits. I'll tell you that much. All right, so here's something I wanted to talk about, um, which is very... It's been sort of bothering me, and I'm, I'm assuming it's bothering some of you guys too, so let me know what you think. Um, everybody's posting these videos and pictures from their home, and I'm getting to see, like a lot of you, I've known you for years, but and we're friends, and like we've, we've even traveled internationally together, yet we haven't been over to each other's houses, because uh, that's the way it sort of works. Oh, give me the hearts, I can see it, and I like it. Thank you. Oh, so I said rubber ducky, yeah, rubber ducky. All right, so listen. I'm seeing all y'all's houses and they're freaking gorgeous. You have pictures on the wall, you have paint on the wall, you got like throw pillows and all sorts of stuff that like, it's extremely adult. Um, and I feel shame and I feel ashamed. Uh, and part of that reason is, is I don't think I'm a dirty person, but apparently I live in squalor. Uh, so, I've said this several times, but like my living space, it's like a drag queen and a Mardi Gras Indian went into a knife fight and nobody won. Like that's what my house looks like. It looks like Muppets procreated in like some weird messed up Muppet orgy. And again, like, you know, nobody came out alive. It's just like fur and feathers and like glitter and sparkle everywhere. And this is stuff that I've been, I've been genuinely cleaning really hard because you guys are watching this stuff and I am, I am like, let me know if you see my bits because I'm going to freak out. Um, so, <laughs> so anyway, oh my gosh, I have to see the drains. Oh God, I'm going to lose the water. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. I'll let me face this door real quick before the water leaves me. Okay, listen, so this is what's happening. Y'all have really nice houses. I am trying. I've been cleaning my house all day. I've been folding laundry. I've been doing dishes. 
not again like I don't live in like I don't have mold everywhere but it's New Orleans things mildew let's be honest you know I mean not the good stuff but like get yeah, a sweater maybe okay so I am tr I am actively trying to give you guys angles of my living space that is less uh oh the duck just died too oh my gosh hold on don't look he better now okay so listen um so the point of the story is is that uh i feel like my house which i'm very proud of because those of you that know you followed my i can't cover everything um know my situation with me trying to renovate the house and how stressful it was but i'm gonna tell you right now like right now i'm in the bathroom and the door uh, has door handle but no lock it's a, it's a freaking risky business trying to do tub time with Trixie around these parts it is danger zone also my windows are windows thank you window world but there's no window frames because that was something uh we tried to do on our own and it turns out I'm actually a dancer not as some like a like a contract or you know like I don't Jesus was Jewish Jesus was a carpenter not all Jews are carpenter you see my thought process here I don't know how to make window frames yet. I still have all this stuff. So, um, can you hear that? The water is literally draining. I screwed this up so bad. I'm gonna have to cut this short because this is just a bad scene. Bad scene. All right, so um, basically, and the summary of it is, y'all have really nice houses and you've been doing a really good job cleaning them and they're really pretty and you have really gorgeous furniture sets and, um, I have pictures on the floor next to where I want to hang them on the wall. And this is something I genuinely hope to get done during this quarantine stressful time. But I'm also sort of thinking that it probably is not going to get done, um, which also makes me feel quite ashamed. So I just wanted to put that out there. For those of you that have adult houses, I see you and I recognize you're better than me. So, and for those of you that freaking don't, it's hard. It's hard to be like a businesswoman and a producer and like the product as well and dancing around trying to coordinate a bunch of people. And then you got to come home and clean your house. That is not, I cannot. I mean, like it's not, again, it is not filthy, filthy, but it's a little filthy. All right. With that being said, there was just one last thing. I was told a bubble bath would be a lot more attractive than just a regular bath. So I tried, but at, in these trying, uh, apocalypse, uh, apocalyptic themed evenings um this i was hoping would turn into bubble bath and it did not <laughs> it um however i now smell like basil and um and essential oils which is why i think i'm slipping around so much and that the tub is sinking into the ground okay so with that you have had a very awkward tub time with trixie again summing up if your house is nice you're killing it if your house is not nice Believe me, you got friends in low places too. We're all good. And um, I'm gonna try and work on a different angle next time. I'm gonna try and shut this off without showing it. Don't look at my vagina. That's so gross, don't look. Okay, I'm gonna stay low. I'm gonna stay low. I'm staying low. I can't reach it, oh my God. Low, 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 finish, finish. Why won't you 